Our is white green, white blue blue. And my favorite part about making cable is that my dad's not beating me with his belt. Let's snip these and shoot all these little wires all over our CPU rigs. Kind of missed the days before these uh, these pass through RJ forty fives existed. I don't know because I'm a masochist. The people who have been with me a while know that I purposely fuck up things just to bait you into commenting to tell me I'm wrong because when you comment and tell me I'm wrong that's engagement baby this is a live test I did not I, you just saw me make this you know I'm not I'm not fooling it's gonna be perfect ready you just saw me make this first time ready let's go on on Oh yeah! Don't blow up. <laughs>
I didn't want the ant miners getting there, so I just put some plastic up. All right, beloved, we got it in. Got our little blue filter here. Cut to size, Merv 1. Anything more would be too much, I think. I think this would do just fine. All right, so after much toil, we're in sort of a temporary uh, drywall job. I wanna leave these cavities open in case I wanna add more of these fans. So I may just put some sheets of drywall here, tack it in, tape it off, just to have it look nice. So let's take a look at the outside. I think it looks pretty nice. All right, threw a little paint on the awning, try to make it blend in, you know, the same color here, and then the that baseboard, I'm not sure. That looks a little weird, but once the pine needles are up against it, it won't look as uh, stark in its contrast. All right, so it's been a few days. It's pretty cold in here, so the ant miners are quiet. We've got great flow, no real issues. I did notice some, uh, like, little gnats were sucked in through that blue filter, so I replaced it with a uh, fiberglass filter. I wanted to use a, a, the lowest MERV rating possible to allow the maximum airflow. So I'm still getting airflow, and luckily for me it's cold, but what I'm gonna do is go ahead and punch in second, and once I get a filter grill, a third. All right, cut in, put the second grill in, nice and flush with the first one. Uh, and then I'll work my way that way. If I want more, I can fit two more. Got this cut in. I'm gonna run a bead of silicone around it. And then I'm gonna go on the inside because I did this without opening up the wall so I wouldn't create a bunch of dust. All right, it's been a few days. We got the new fans in, two more fans, two more intakes installed behind the here. So I'm gonna pop these panels off today, install these fans. I did get a smart controller for the AC Infinity. I'm gonna put these in, and it's staying cold in here with just this one running. Uh, it's still pretty cold outside, so that's a benefit. I also think there was a fundamental misunderstanding. Someone commented about your miners are in the hot lane, trust me, you're, or something like that. Um, I don't know if, if, if people thought I was gonna wall this off. That's incorrect. This is the cold lane. This whole room is the cold lane. The hot lane is over here on the outside. So this, when I'm done, the idea is to uh, put Velcro strips along here and use uh, foam panels like these, they're sealed, to close up the gaps. And that way they're all exhausting out into this one big hot lane and I can worry about exhaust out here. But these are all self-contained inside the room, filtered air, sealed up. You know, the door's got foam ceiling on it. It's got a little sweep. You know, the drop ceiling, the tape. The whole idea is to seal this room, have the intakes, and this is the cold lane. This is all cold lane, hot lane out there. All right, doing an exceptionally bad job YouTubing. I really didn't get much of the process, but all three fans are in. 3D printed these little uh, pass-throughs to run the cabling, just so I can have it neat. Uh, but they're all in, they all work. Uh, but before I kick them on, I'm gonna run through, clean up some dust, clean up some debris. I got filters in all of them. Uh, yeah, it's about 55 degrees out right now. It's super foggy. I'm not sure if you can see. Am I actually trying to zoom in uh, in real life? It's a lot of humidity to pump in, but that's all right. But I can confidently say the shed is in its mostly final form. Really only a couple things I want to do is fill in with the foam board. Uh, I'm saving that though because I took a 3D print off the internet and modified it and extended it. This is an ant miner shroud. Now it's meant for people to tie in a, to a duct to exhaust. Uh, you can see it stops right here. I added this. Uh, really, this is just for extending a little bit so I can scooch the ant miners back and have this round cutout, single cutout through the foam board and so I don't have to fill in the gaps between the ant miners with squares 
That way I can just have holes and attach these and they all exhaust. Plus, I'm hoping this will silence them a little bit because when summer comes and it heats up, they're gonna get really loud, uninsulated wall. My neighbor's house is right on the other side and in the dead of night, it's a bit loud. I kind of want to be a bit of a good neighbor because I like my neighbor because he's based. So anyway, I'm going to save this for now because it's still pretty cold. I'm not too worried about it. Um, once I get the rig, the Octomi the GPU is in an Octominer, I'll cut a square out for that. Uh, but otherwise, the fans are in, all hooked to a controller. I went and put the pigtail, the uh, sensor up there because that's the highest point and should be the hottest point. So I want to measure from there. Chased it down, running into the controller, did a little cable management. All three fans, I just got them flat out right now. Uh, the sensor showing 61 in here. So that's nice and cool. Fans are blowing cool. I'm not crazy about the louvers, to be honest. Um, it really inhibits a lot of the air, but it's fine. Everything's cool. Uh, so what I'll probably do yeah, and I went ahead and taped up this wall just because of this double wall. There were a lot of areas that could leak in. I might put some cove base down here. Uh, but what I'll likely do since this video is going long is I'll do a farm tour video since those always do well, get a lot of views. Uh, but since you stuck it out and watched towards the end, you can see everything here now. S21, S19J Pros, L7, CPU miners, GPU rigs inside, KSO Pro. And yeah, that's our farm for now. So with that, we'll call that a success and we'll check back in on it later. Appreciate you guys watching. And I'll see you next time. And as far as the exterior goes, I was trying to make it match, but this just looks weird on the bottom. So I might just paint it that dark brown all the way down. Um, but the awning's in place. You've been getting some rain, no leaks, all three filters in place all lined up all flush next to each other now if i put another one it will actually there will be a gap because the studs about right here i think um i could probably fill it in with something just to even out the look if so but i mean i don't think that looks half bad i mean i think that looks pretty damn good to be honest you know versus some of the other mining shed setups i think it's maintaining curb appeal just fine ignore that black fence i'm taking that down uh but yeah and then so those intakes just Go right through here. Right in. God damn it. Fucking mud.